of projects that we worked on with students and recent graduates. And this time it was around crowdfunding, um, which is um, becoming an increasingly popular way to fund startups and projects. Um, I don't know how familiar you all are with crowdfunding and Kickstarter. Mm -hmm. Anyone? In? No? No? Okay. No? Okay. Um, well, I'll just take you through then um, what crowdfunding is and why we've got involved in it with our students and graduates. Um, so I'll start with what's crowdfunding and, and then I'll talk about the process and the outcomes of this student project. So um, we're going to talk about in particular a crowdfunding platform called Kickstarter. Now Kickstarter is a place um, where you can fund a startup. So at the beginning of, um, as you probably know, um, at the start of any business, uh, funds um, is something that is always hard to come by. Um, this helps startups in getting money to start. Um, so you can uh, uh, post up a campaign on, on the site. It's an American site. Um, back to some of the facts about it. So it started in 2009, um, and it's had since then it's had two billion pledged. Um, in the UK, the UK has picked it up. Um, in 2006, it's a really disruptive model of uh, getting funding. Um, in 2016, more money was raised on crowdfunding sites than was by venture capital. So it's uh, really changing the landscape for startups and businesses. Um, so like I said, we chose to go with Kickstarter, and this is a platform that really focuses on uh, small creative startups, um, and people can fund up to 20,000 to get their projects off the ground. So you pitch this uh, new project or startup, um, and you have 30 days to ask for the crowd to fund it, so the general public to go on, see what you're starting, see what product you might want to launch, or what um, the social projects on there, creative projects, um, and you get a reward in um, exchange for your donation. And it often supports projects that have a cause behind them, um, and people are really interested in the new and innovative. Um, so this is why a lot of um, UK um, universities have started using them to fund various projects. Because people always want to get behind the underdog, or behind the startups, <coughs> and the, the students launching something, and, and put their money towards it. So <coughs> again, this is a project with creative students and linking them to business and how um, how they can get started. So as designers, um, it's very difficult when you graduate. Um, got your design skills but you need to set up on your own, so develop a studio, <coughs> perhaps launch a project. Um, and in the past you might have to license your design to a company and only make a small amount of money. Um, you'd have to, if you wanted to get a product to market, you'd be faced with huge minimum orders. Uh, the only cost effective way might be doing it through a factory uh, for the widget that you designed or the, the product that you designed. And that could be really preventative to, 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 to designers. And you might have to raise uh, funds from an investor and they would give away a share in your company. But this reward-based crowdfunding has really disrupted these models and made it so that people can get access. It's made funding much more accessible um, to everyone. So CAS starters, so CAS is the, the name of our art and design school, uh, was set up. Uh, we wanted to investigate how we could work in a, a live project, a work-related learning way, with crowdfunding and uh, an academic module. Um, and it was really to establish a new pathway for designers to take after graduation and link the, link the dis design skills they had to entrepreneurial approaches and look at how a university could support a crowdfunding scheme um, in a really practical way. So uh, we picked... Um, for designers that have developed products. Um, they're all quite fun and playful products for, for the home. Um, over there we've got like a decoration toy that sits on a desktop, um, some hooks um, and some cups. Um, to explain a little bit more, um, we've got, uh, the university made videos for them. Um, I'm going to play a video that Tim, the designer of this, will be able to uh, put together. 